going up what's going up hey natural beauty hope you have a cool a cool what should I say Saturday evening 6th of the 11th Big question is, what are you drinking? Big question is, what are you having? Big question is, what is the conversation? What is the big topic? Peace and love, peace and love. But most importantly, tonight, what am I drinking? What am I drinking? Non-alcohol. As quick, strictly juices. Made some nice juice today. Here we go. Take me as if I'm in Jamaica. Where those guys make all those juices. But I can rival all the juices that they make. And create my own which is called special talking sip got some strawberries on the side there this is wicked I'm gonna see who can actually rival this drink tonight is it gonna be O'Neill is it gonna be Vita is it gonna be Jody is it gonna be Natural Beauty let me see who is gonna rival this drink tonight non-alcohol healthy stuff you know what I'm saying well you know what tonight and one of the things that I've been talking about is um, having this great awareness great awakening of people who are doing fantastic things fantastic things out there in the world you know now I, I put the I put the the invite out for anyone who want to come in on the live anyone who's got a story i'm sipping on a cup of ginger tea this evening we're having a chilly a little chilly evening well you can come in and tell us about your chilly evening should i invite you natural beauty or when you're ready when you're ready just let me know right in god how are you I think I omitted to um, 
to respond to you today because I had a very busy day. And one of the things I was going to say was um, was for you to come in tonight. If you, if, if, you, if, you, if you can come in tonight at some point and, and, and tell us about the, the project that you're doing in the UK, the virtual stuff. I mean, I'm happy for that, if anything, if you want to do that. So, so let me know if you want to do that. We can uh, actually touch on that tonight. Yeah. Yeah. So, anytime you're ready, not not ready, you know. Any, anytime you're ready, you just let me know. Platform is all there for you. You know what I'm saying? And um, you know. But listen, it's in the UK here. We we got a very um, the weather is changing, and as weather is changing as much as possible. Um, you know, we're getting a, uh, getting abreast of it. Um, the weather will be chilly. It's going to be chilly like this for the next few months <laughs> or so. Um, they said we've got to be careful about the flu now because the flu is back. If you didn't know about the flu, the flu is back. The flu took a break some time ago, but it's back. It's because it's back, you got to be ready for the flu, you know? Another fantastic thing which I saw recently is the i don't know if you've heard and i did a video on this it is about the pill there's no pill which can be used as an alternative i'm not going to say as an alternative because they haven't said that as an alternative to the vaccine i like to be very circumspect with my reporting but uh, it, it, it's a, a tablet a pill which can be used to heal covid yes to deal with it to treat it and um, I'm going to see if I can find it as well. I think these are very positive news. Um, it questions the whole need for the whole actual mandatory, mandating everybody to do one thing when they're coming up with many different ways, different alternatives of how we treat COVID. Um, so, you know, that, that is very interesting. But I'm going to read... Um, uh, a couple of things on this. I did a video on it as well. And um, it, it, it is very interesting. I think we've got to be very um, circumspect, you know, guys. I think we've got to hold our leaders accountable. We've got to tell our leaders that we have sense. We've got to tell our leaders that we are reading, we are understanding, and that leaders need to know without a shadow of a doubt that they are just there for a season they are actually representative of the people. They are not representative of big companies, big countries. They are not lap dogs. And even countries who deem to be that they are the top dogs, they are the puppet master. Um, the key thing is that, um, you know, the people still hold the power and the people can actually remove them. Just like how the Bible said, God set up kings and God removed kings, you know? And um, if I can turn this down a bit and just get the preliminaries going on. But this, this pill, which has been designed, um, is called Molnupiravir. Molnupiravir. Let me break it down. Molnupiravir. It's the first antiviral treatment for COVID to report clinical trial results. Hear that? multi no fear and this is education here now the first pill designed to treat symptomatic covid has been approved by the uk medicines regulator the tablet multi piravir will be given twice a day to vulnerable patients recently diagnosed with the disease in clinical trial the pill originally developed to treat flu cut the risk of hospitalization or death by about half. You know what I say? Health secretary in the UK said the treatment was a game changer for the most frail and immune suppressed. Today is a historic day for our country as the UK is now the first country in the world to approve an antiviral that can be taken at home for COVID. Also, the UK was one of the first countries who actually um, injected someone with the vaccine, if I'm not mistaken. Was it the UK or was it the States? In the States was the black lady 
uh, a Jamaican and in the UK it was a very elderly lady I think or man I think it was a man called William Shakespeare believe it or not William Shakespeare was the name of the man right so therefore other countries are now rivaling other countries are now going to be rivaling the UK in creating their own antiviral pill so therefore I'm just repeating this as it is to make sure it is responsible Claudia is how are you guys you know so the question now is this, as I put there, the question now is this whole mandating, this whole mandatory thing, that is it now, the whole mandatory thing. Why is there this push for that? And as people, you know, we've got to recognize without a doubt that we are intelligent, that we are critical and we are thinkers as much as possible. We are thinkers. And therefore, we've got to hold our leaders accountable because the information is out there. The information is not scarce. It is transparent. Some they may hide. Some they may not hide as well. Jordan Murray as well. Anyone want to come in? Just let me know. Talk and sip tonight. My intro, my agenda is as much as possible to highlight positive things, highlighting great inspirational stories, highlighting motivating stuff we're, we're dealing with realities we're dealing with facts at the same time but i don't see much need for dwelling on certain things which are not empowering dwelling on certain things which are not substantive dwelling on certain things which are not lifting and taking it to the next level and i believe that we need to be to the next level another thing which was really great over the past week was this lady um who is um, uh, Moderna? Who is is who developed the pill for there? Moderna is a it's a big business, you know. It's a big business. When I think about this whole thing, it's a big business. That's the business to get in, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, if you want to get into any business, get into the pharmaceutical thing. It's a big business. It's like all of them, all of them are working collectively together. And I'm just reading here something in Jamaica where they said that. Um, NCB staff associates threatened to withdraw services as standoff over vaccination policy. And therefore, I just got something a while ago. I think, I think all, not how all hell is breaking loose, but someone from the States just sent this to me. And I think I posted it on my page. And what they said is that the, the court has halted one of the the things by President Biden, by Sleepy Joe, who's always sleeping. I don't think he knows what's really happening. People are just telling him what to do. Um, what it says, and this is, might as well I say this thing now, because in case we get cut off, so we better we say it now. Federal appeal courts on Saturday temporarily halted the Biden administration vaccine requirement for business with 100 or more workers, right? Right? New Orleans federal court on Saturday temporarily halted the Biden administration vaccine requirement for business with 100 or more workers, right? Louisiana Attorney General said the action stopped Democratic President Joe Biden from moving forward with his unlawful overreach. There we go again, right? So people are actually fighting back. But why are people fighting? Why should there be any fighting for this whole thing? You know, why should there be any division? Why should there be any preferential treatment? As I believe the head minister in Jamaica said, the head minister said preferential treatment is going to be coming for those who are actually got the V, you know? Yeah. So therefore, what is this preferential treatment? You know, and my philosophy is that eventually there's going to be a time where the natural, the pill, and the vaccine will work in harmony and people are able to take what they want and just take it easy and just chill. As much as I believe all is happening, I think it's just chill and relax because guess what? Hey, nothing, you know, nothing until the right time. So therefore just chill and just relax, you know. The great news again is that there's this Jamaican lady who's not a lieutenant governor for Virginia, man, her dad, you know. You know, let me let me let me pop up her story as well because I would love to know anyone who traveled to the UK or the USA with their and their parents and they can say it was 
one pound, one dollar seventy-five, one pound seventy-five that they came with. How much money did they came with when they went to the UK or they went to the USA? How much money? Virginia, you know, Winsome Sears was born in Jamaica, is the first black Republican woman to be elected. Elected to the Virginia General Assembly representing the 90th district from 2002 for one term, right? She's also a Marine veteran, vice president of the Virginia Board of Education and owner of an appliance business. She's a wife and mother of three daughters. In 2012, her 27-year-old daughter, Dejon Lawrence, and two grandchildren died in a car accident. Sorry to hear that. Very inspirational story. And, um, and that is powerful. There's so many good luck, great, not good luck, great stories which are out there. And also the, the person, President Biden nominated to be the next ambassador for USA to Jamaica is actually a Jamaican who is from Jamaica, right? So therefore, a lot of things are happening. So the question now is, is it, what is your dream? What is your big dream? What is your plan? What is your action plan? You know, somebody said, I was, on a, I was on a business meeting today. And on the business meeting, one of the persons made this statement. And I had to write it down. And I just put it up and it says, this is what it says. Procrastination. I don't know if you can see it. Procrastination is the assassination of your destination. Procrastination is the assassination of your destination. Procrastination is the assassination of your destination. Is that positive or negative? Procrastination, that's negative. Assassination, that's really negative. Destination, think about it for a second. Who procrastinate? Who loves to procrastinate? Think about that for a second. Are you a procrastinator? Do you know that it is actually assassinating or thwarting the whole purpose of your destination or prolonging the move and the plan to your ultimate destination. Think about that for a second, ladies and gentlemen. And, uh, you know, so I'm inviting people to come on and, and speak about, especially if your family came to the UK, came to the USA, and, and what did they, what, how much money they had in their pocket. Uh, Vita, good evening. How much money you had in your pocket when you went to the USA? Was it $1.75, $2.75, how much? I, I probably have like a hundred and something dollars, but the 175 back then and my hundred and something dollars is almost the same. It wasn't much because you the US to transfer the US to Jamaica and it costs more. So if you're trying to come to the state or leave the country because whatever the situation is, you try to save as much as you have, but it's not easy maintaining the lifestyle you have there and then save to, to, to travel the world. So Wow, wow, wow. Well good evening to you, Vita. Good How are you doing today? I'm doing okay. I'm having a glass of wine. Um, yeah, make sure it relaxes me and relax the tongue. So, ooh, that's beautiful, man. Now, I tell you that ocho wife, something else. <laughs> this is a this this is an ocherous thing. This is straight out of ocho. I, I tell you, that's a strawberry straight from yard. Cheers, straight, brother. straight, strawberry, raspberry, banana. Wow. Um, mm -hmm. ginger. I mean, I just make up this today. Non alcohol. I'm going straight natural today, ladies and gentlemen. Natural. Build up the immune system. There you go. Building up the immune system. Big up the immune system, big time. And then um, I and then, and then get my little sparkling water at the side. So that that's gonna have a, a, a short show because you're building up the body, so you have to cut the show short. <laughs> Nadine's a nice fruit juice. Well, Nadine, what is it that you're drinking? And Nadine, if you want to come in from Canada, if that's where you are, zips in, you know what I'm saying? You know? But but yeah, I was just I was just talk, I was just thinking when I when I this week just listening to all the I was challenged. I was challenged, I must say, ladies and gentlemen. Um, because for the past two weeks or so, one one got a bit distracted, I would say, by different happening which was happening in Jamaica. You sort of get caught up in everything and then you missed out on other things which are happening and i was glad when i saw this lady who was a lieutenant governor in the states who yeah. actually um 
got her position there and then listened to her backstory. As I was reading, she had trauma so one of her daughters died, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. She had three children and she's married to um, a marine, another uh, a black gentleman and, and her two daughters on the platform. Her father came up with $1.75 in his pocket. And, and that's, that's a really positive story, you know? But you know, you know, we all have our story, you know, and, and the fact is that if you think about the situation when, when her father got here with that amount in his pocket, that's a struggle that the father been through. And I hope the, the, the parents um, alive to be so proud and so look at the situation and say, the sacrifice I did make, it was worth it. The sacrifice that the father did, that she's here to now reach this level of power in America. Yes. It, it's really amazing and it's very uplifting. And, and I hope it will motivate a lot of us and women, and not even just Jamaican women, black women, to see that there is no limitation. You can do whatever you want to do and just, just, just have your goals and, and just go for it. It's amazing. That's very powerful seeing a Jamaican woman right there. Yeah. And, and also another story which came out is that the new ambassador to Jamaica representing America is also from Jamaica. I think they're all from Ochoa's. I think they're all, are they from Ochoa's? I, I would actually do background. I, I think so too. They're all from Ochoa's, isn't it? Some powerful, a lot of powerful uh, people. Uh, have come out of, of there and and that's what they push to the the survive no limitation um the rebellious part of us in jamaica never to stop never to give up you know it's it's amazing it, it travels the world and anywhere in the world you can look there is a jamaican representing and there's good and bad but you know we're gonna stay on the good and the positive yeah. now there, there, that we there, 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 there was somebody who said something, and I hear it in the in the, in the circuit that the the, the slaves or are, are now. Let me clarify. I like to I like to qualify why I say this: that the Africans, the the free people who were taken captivity and brought to Jamaica, they said they were uh -huh. the bad ones, and I'm saying, I'm I'm still trying to work out what where where did this. Where did this come from, that they were the bad ones? Well, they were the, one. the bad ones. They were the rebel rebellious ones. But the ones, the ones that, see, I'm a king and you captured me. I'm not used to being captured. I'm a queen, you captured me. I'm used to be a ruler. And then you captured me. So, of course, it, my, my instinct is to fight you off and to do whatever to, to, to escape. So those were the Jamaicans who when they decide they're going to either throw them off the board or when they dock in Jamaica, they just get rid of them. They stop on the islands of Jamaica and do that. So you have those rebellious ones, those kings and queens and royalties that was in Africa that they captured and brought. And that's why we Jamaicans are like that. We so, are. So, so, therefore, it, so therefore, it is not that we're bad and rebellious. It was no, just that not. we were assertive and know what we want. Yes, very assertive, and that's what happened. So even though our fourth parents, what happened to them, and the DNA is still, our DNA still continues to push to, doesn't matter where you are, where you were taken from, you still plant your roots and do whatever you have to do to empower you and the rest people yeah. around. I, so, I, 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 I'm glad I sort of say it like that, because we hear these things all the while, that the bad slaves were, and I'm saying, no, we weren't slaves. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, try to work out my sort of analogy and my thinking is this. Right. You know? Right. I, do, you, do you see where I'm coming from? You are yeah. absolutely right. So you're on the right track. Yes, you are correct. We are assertive. We were not rebellious because mm. we're free people and we are, we are not used to being captured and tied up. Well, unless it's... Yes. But that's a different story. But... <laughs> <laughs> But the fact is that we are free people. So therefore, we decide we're going to keep, keep our freedom. Freedom is important to us. You're not going to capture us. Yes, yes. And, so and I think... Yeah. yeah. And, and, and I think that is something very important that people recognize and, and capture within their system. And I believe it will free people to understand that, no, you weren't bad slaves or bad people you're free people yes. who were assertive yes. critically thinking and recognize that something is wrong yes. and you're going to be challenging the narrative 
and fight for your rights. Yes, yes. You, know? you are they, absolutely they, correct to put it in. I couldn't they, say it myself. They, um, they, 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 there is a, there's a song that the JLP them love to sing, you know? <laughs> Which one um, is in, in Jamaica? Um, and blogging God might actually yeah, right sing. Here, right there, perfect timing. Perfect, perfect timing, <laughs> perfect timing. And the, the JLP people have a song where I say, stand up for your rights. Did when you, you hear the bell, no. stand up to me. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, don't go for the bell. Look about the... Listen, listen, stand up for your rights. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why did I say that now. You know what I'm saying? Lester, uh, it's nice to see you. How are you? Cheers. I'm 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 great. I'm great. I'm great. I'm great. Cheers, Bye. Lester. Let's cheer some music to you. Yeah? Cheers, Mike. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Uh, glad to be in this wonderful company. Wonderful yes. topic. Yeah, I know, but I, I'm going to go back to that stand up for your rights thing. I'm going to go back to that <laughs> thing, and I and I tell you what it is. In 1980, I think I was about nine or ten years of age, but I was very astute politically, in a sense, based on my family allegiance. And I, I was watching the election, and I went to bed a bit <laughs> early. I went to bed early that night, and I couldn't wait. And I got up and I asked my sister. I said to my sister, who, I woke up in the morning, I said, who won? I called Elena, and Claudia said, she said, JLP, so I'm going to say, boy, that was hard, you know. So... I th and, and I think from that time, I started to recognize that when things change, you just have to accept it. And I started to sing this song as a way of accepting it. Ada Eddie, our leader. See, see what, see, what we're here to do is to teach. We taught, we, we, we taught you how to deal with disappointment. <laughs> exactly. And, 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 and I learned about that. It's another thing I learned as well is when my father said to me, no, you cannot go to Acropolis or you can't go to ruins to them party. Remember those days when you were yes. partying? Mm -hmm. And I would have some money in my pocket which I have to go out and spend. So did, you, did, did your father, I know if he goes to Shades? I, I, I don't know what is Shades. Shades, <laughs> there's places. Um, where's, where's my... Where's my... He got a drink, he got a drink. <laughs> This is this is the only shades I know. You know what I mean? So, so, so the, as, 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 as the only shades I know. As the shades I know. Boy, I tell you, guys are guys are you one in a million. <laughs> I, and I, I woke up in the morning. I woke up in the morning, and guess what I had? Guess what I had? I had the money still in my pocket. Smart. See, your father know best. I had the money still in my pocket. So, but the best way to deal with it was to actually go to sleep very early and then moan on it. Cry myself to bed or, or disappoint myself to bed, but go early. The next morning, I had the money. That is, was my way of addressing certain things. I Lester. You see, Lester, if by the time he reached there and look at me, he already buy me two drinks and the money's finished. <laughs> there you go. There you go. That's an expensive thing. But, <laughs> but, 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 Silburn, you guys touch on something were really deep a while ago. And, and, and I think that, that, that there's a part of the education in a way, the black community mm. and in a Jamaica where stop teaching our people that we were slaves or bad slaves. Yes. You know? Because we were never accepting of that role, of that position. Exactly. Never. Exactly. You know, we're never accepting of that. And w w when you look at even, that's like, that's like sometimes I, I don't too partake in Black History Month because it's like it, it, it showcases, uh, uh, for the most part, where we were in, uh, uh, um, captured, right? Mm -hmm. it, it, it don't usually go way before. It don't show you the, 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 the Black excellence and the Black rule way before. Like when I said to, said to persons here in Holland, or even Jamaica, do you know who Mansa Munsa is? You know? They've never heard that name before. You know? Mm. And I'm saying it's very important as a black man to know who Mansa Munsa is. Do you know about, I, I said, like like the, the term Pharaoh? Yes. Right? 
the term fear is the same thing as a king or a queen. The same thing. Yes. But fear may, may it seem as if it's evil or if it's less royal. You know? But, so when you hear about the kings and the queens of Europe, right? It has this, this par excellence to it. It has this regal, regality to it. But Pharaoh have these evil connotations. In the, back, this, in the back side of a desert, in some sands, in some places like that. Yes, but, but no, but, <clears throat> but, but more so evil, you know? And, and when I had to tell my son, when I carried him to the Marcus Garvey Museum, because part of the museum, there's a black, black um, um, history part of the museum on Duke Street, downtown Kingston. And when he saw the... When you saw the, 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 the oh my god, stop, stop. She's not driving, she's not driving, Gaza. She's not oh. driving. That's Jody. Where are you looking? Gaza, let's say looking like that. Is it Jody? Well, it's, a, it's a stranger. Hi, beautiful. Oh, want to touch her if you see if she's real. <laughs> Don't touch it. Touch a button, touch a button. No, touch Don't a button. Touch nice to see you all. So, so Jody, where the care then? Where the car? Where's the car? The car is in the garage. In the garage. <laughs> your, your voice is very, very low, Jody. Um, your voice is very low. Very, very. You want to come with you guys? Huh? I don't know how to mute this. Mute it. You want to mute it? Um, <coughs> let me see. It's the, it's the, oh, okay. She's the, okay. Let's uh, keep talking. So, um, so we'll block yeah. out Jordan. So, she, uh, yes. talk. Yeah. um, so the, the thing is that we have to start understanding that it wasn't the bad slaves that were deported to Jamaica, right? It was the slaves then that were strong, right? Mm. And even if you look at many of the rebellions and the uprising in the Caribbean, Jamaicans or the Africans that were in Jamaica played a role in all of them. Yes. You know? Yes. And and it, it, it come right back up to Grenada. Remember Grenada in the eighties. Right? More special. Yeah, where, where we send soldiers over there and stuff, and Cuba sent soldiers over there too. So Jamaica had played an integral role in the Caribbean and the liberation of the Caribbean from ever since. But even so you know, the, the liberation and the fight against apartheid, you know, we were yeah. front runners. That's why Mandela visited Jamaica. I think, I think Jamaica was one of the first countries he visited mm -hmm. when he came out of prison, you know. Yeah. And when you look at our music, our culture, we were always on the forefront of fighting for black freedom, black liberation, black excellence. Black excellence. Let, let's bring in, let's say hi to Jody. Jody. I want to yeah, we can't, your voice is very low, I must say, though. I know you want us to listen keenly. Keenly. And we're hearing that slight right. echo. And we're hearing that slight echo. Are you guys, are you guys getting that echo? Are you guys getting that echo? Yeah. I'm getting an echo. I'm getting an echo. I'm echoing myself. I'm echoing myself. I feel like I'm rapping. Part of people in the place to be. Jody no. is having an echo. Can you see? Jody's not in the car driving today, you see. Let's say he's there and he's green with a picture of a lady smiling with teeth so white. No, white no, this is, MP, teeth. this is MP Karen Sir Morrison. Okay, all right. So she's not a woman still. That's because she's MP, she's not a lady. No, no, is no. What no I, just have to, I just have to give, um, you know, context to, to why I'm wearing a shirt with a female on it. Okay, let me just clarify. Jody, Jody, Jody I now. like the color of your nails, Jody. I like the color of your nails. Back I don't see so far. Jody, can I hear your voice? Okay, her voice is gone now. We're not here, Jody. Right. Jody, I, I'm gonna. Okay, sorry. Jody, I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do, Jody. I'm gonna remove you briefly and just start back with your earpiece, yeah? If you can hear me, so you can hear me. Nod your head. She can't hear. Can hear? She nod. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll actually message her if anything. Yeah, that, that, uh -huh. that's come back. Just come out and come back in. Yeah, yeah. Um, somebody said it's your ear, earpiece. So Lester, um, keep talking on that on that point there. I like yeah, this um, message. Um, 
you see, the, the, the thing is that um, if our if our stories keep starting at slavery or during slavery, you know, we we will never get over um, um, the inequality because we don't know anything before that. You know, Tama Vita, we don't know. We, we, we don't know when we were ever on top, you know. Is somebody so, sleeping? I don't know whose background it is. I live alone, so it's not me. <laughs> but somebody's somebody's snoring. Snoring. I, I, I hear a background. Silver. No, man, I hear, I hear a snoring, actually. <laughs> Nobody's not up in there. <laughs> that was strange. <laughs> Okay. Kevin Smith in dead. <laughs> anyway, it's gone now. It's gone. Man, what was I, that? I heard a snoring, man. I literally heard I a snoring. Too. I do too. Try, 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 try see if Judy ready, man. Yeah, yeah. No, she, she will give me a uh, yeah. Um, let me just try get it back. Yeah. Um. I can hear somebody here snoring as well. Shannon's here, here, here snoring as well. And I'm actually, and looking. I'm actually looking. Okay. Okay. Hear I'm hearing you. I'm hearing you. We're getting the echo. We're getting the echo. Okay. Yeah. Jordan. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Jordan. Okay. Okay. Take out okay, the air. Okay. Take out the air. Yeah. Okay. Speak now. Oh, nothing now. That's strange. Okay, I tell you what. Come back in. I'm seeing Lester going on like a spinning. Come back in, Jody, with um, without the earpiece. Lester is spinning now. Okay, there's a dodgy thing going on tonight. Right, um, right. Vita, Vita, you're 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 clear. Yes, you're clear. It must be the weather. It's, every, it's getting cold. Everything everything is getting cold. Yes. Let's uh, okay. Let's uh, blogging God gone again. Yes, the the the, the whole essence and and it's a Halloween weekend. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> Somebody says it's Halloween weekend. <laughs> it's sorry, what? It's it's. I hear a lot of fireworks going on at the same time around me. I don't know. It's I don't know if it's a penny for the guy or something like that. But we just go through this moment. Just try to clarify a couple of things. Let me see if Lester can get back in. Somebody's there coming for back. Moment. Somebody's coming back. For a moment. Okay, Jody. There we are. Okay, Jody. There we are. Okay. Hello. Vita. Hello. Vita. Can you guys hear me now? Yes. We are hearing you, but but yes. we're getting the we're getting, we're getting the, the echo. Air. We're getting the echo. So let us be quiet and let. So let us be quiet and let. No, no it's not going to work. No, it's not going to work. We we have had it. Jody. Can you hear me now? Yes. Perfect. Is that better? Perfect. <sighs> oh, Lord. Vita, we need to figure out Vita, this. You can hear well as well, yeah? Yes, I can hear you now, Jody. Go ahead. Jo Jody, you speak. Hi. Good evening. How uh, are you doing? No, that, awesome. that's it. It's nice to see you guys. Nice to be back. Yes. And what, what are you drinking? It's glad to see you again, Jody. It's still beautiful. Welcome back. Oh, I need him tonight, but cheers. Cheers. He's having an Ina King. Ina King. And I'm all the way in Jamaica, Ochoirios. As you can see, that's what they do when they, when they go to the beach in Ochoirios <laughs> there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, you know? But you, you didn't go anywhere, oh. Jody. I, I don't know. Where, where did you go? You, you didn't go anywhere. I mean, why we keep saying that you're back? You didn't go anywhere. <laughs> Um, I wasn't here on on talking six. So okay. yeah, we, was her, we miss her, Seymour. Yes. I haven't I haven't done talking sick for a while. Yes, 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 yes. That's that's all right. And um, but how are you otherwise? I was. I see you on the radio every every Monday though. <laughs> yeah, I have a Monday morning drive, and funny enough, um. You know, Monday morning after finishing finishing at the radio station with that energy, um, I was on my way to see a client, and then I had to turn around because I started not feeling well, mm. which oh, is wow. kind of what's been to me. I've had um, I've been more 
um, in the last couple of weeks. I'm not sure if it's the stress or not getting enough rest. Well, I think it's not getting enough rest mostly. But um, yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, you can be burnt out, Jody. You don't want to burn yourself out. So you're too young for that. Make sure you stay strong for your husband. You want a strong body. Um, I don't know how that husband story is going to go. Cause it's <laughs> well, I think Vita is speaking into your life. I'm speaking it into your life. That's what I'm saying. You have to make sure the body's <laughs> ready when he's ready. No, you, you, have to, you have to get me one of them. Um, I think, you know, one of those, those, those God, God, like, um, you remember watching, um, what was it again? What's that thing they used to have with these, these kings that used to fight against each other for territory? We used to call them again. Gladiators. Gladiators. Okay. Yeah. The, the gladiators. You want one of those? Yeah, it has to be a godlike kind of persona. You know what I mean? I do. Because it takes a lot of time to do it. Right. See, so you also, yes, also want see, somebody see, to pick see you on two to men to be fighting over you. <laughs> That's not what I said. <laughs> How are you guys? What are we talking about? <laughs> What's on the <laughs> what are we doing to change the world this evening, guys? Uh, well, well, we are talking about the the, um, the excellence of the Jamaican and the godlike um, features that we were born with and, and how we end up in Jamaica. That's what we were talking about. Uh, you came right in with the godlike figure. Yes. <laughs> yeah. We, we, yeah we, 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 we're, we're, we're an extraordinary type of people. Um, I let's, think, let's you know, the and cool now. <laughs> what? <laughs> you changed his clothes? <laughs> It's, 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 it's all about branding, you know, you know, the, um, black the, excellence. The, 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 this shirt is made by Kiddies. So, you know, she was supposed to come out tonight, but she, or she had to, or Jesse's birthday. And so they had a special for Jesse. Yeah. 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 You know? But, but you look like when people first started to have mobile phones and they couldn't get any signal and they had to go on like windowsill. I remember I was living in the UK at one point. I had to go on a windowsill, my head outside, Trying to get signal. So, are you in the snow now? Trying to get signal outside, Lester. That's I, why you... I, 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 I'm in the same spot. <laughs> same spot. The back but, looks so but, white, like in a snow. Looking at you, make me start sweat. You look so hot. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe you can fight. Maybe you can fight for Jody because she's looking for gladiators to fight over her. You know what I mean? Huh? Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, go on between the time we change. Oh, oh, go on. <laughs> But, uh, anyway, <laughs> but, but to be honest with you, to be honest with you, you know, since we start the conversation, we are still in the introduction, and I'm, it's almost it's almost one already. Anyway, what we were to do that? What is that all about? What's that? Huh? You were trying to just take the whole bottle of Heineken all at once. What's happening? The Lester. What's it's called, it's called, it's called talk and sip, you know. <laughs> oh God! Cheers, cheers, Jody. <laughs> some guy got some labor writing in that place, yeah, and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> we're free now. We're free. We can talk anything because when that lady won, the lady from the states, when she won that seat, and because people know that I'm conservative leaning, a guy put a question mm -hmm. to me and he said to me, um, "So what is it? Is it because she's Jamaican or she's black or it's her politics?" And I said to him, "Just take it easy." It's about a woman who won a seat, and actually she happens to be black and happens to be Jamaican. Her politics is just incidental. The guy said to me, um, well, I was, uh, I was hoping for a strong answer. So I said, well, you need to let me know what is strong, mild or weak, or I can respond to you in the future. But I just answered you, you know? So you want a strong answer. But I know where he wanted to go. He wanted to say, like, the lady is just um, Republican, so she's just... Um, a replica of Trump, or what they say she's a black version of a white supremacist. <laughs> if anything, you know that's what no, people. No, she's qualified. What about the qualified she's part? Qualified. Yeah. She's yes. qualified. She have worked in the um, military and she have um, done her dues, and now she's <laughs> serving us again. And it's because she's qualified. Um, mm. Because she's black, she have to work twice as hard to get in that position. So she's double qualified. And being a Jamaican again make it worse. So. Yeah. But Vita, I have yes. a photo with she's in a in a suit with an yes. MP4. And yes. a, a, oh, I have, 
I so, love that photo. I love that photo. I'm like, yeah. I'm, I think, you know, it almost looks like to me, Lester. You know, back in the days when you see these ladies dressed to go to work in the offices in Jamaica, and all of yeah. a sudden you just see her. I'm like, that picture yeah, is like, just like. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That, that's that's it's uh, one of them pictures. yeah that's right i thought that was one of the coolest thing though yeah yeah was, i love the picture really love it I the thing is um you know mm. somehow we try we try to excel wherever we go and um i would say that she, as Rita said she's done her dues she she did she put the work in and she she deserves it because she's qualified but then you know just knowing that she mm-hmm. has a background she's a black woman yeah you know kind of right, listen, 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 listen. Listen. settle down settle down I tell her when I listen to this lady, I'm fired up, man. I'm just... here because of you. Sorry, when she said motivated, you know what I mean. Those are not my words. I feel like I was walking in a walk and talk in the in the bushes there in the park. Motivated, hoo ha, you know. Let's get going. And I and I think that is so powerful, you know. And and it it was a way of a, a beautiful distraction from all the negative things that we have been getting from home. Don't get me wrong. I always try to mm-hmm. qualify. Even though it's negative, it's a reality. Abduction is wrong. Cult is wrong. And we've got to expose it for what it is so people can be educated. But what we weren't seeing for a while was the positive nature and the positive people out there. We're not, seeing, we're not hearing about the Jody. We're not hearing about the kiddies. We're not hearing about... We're not seeing a balance at the same time. So I said to myself, I've got to actually start to promote everything which is positive and everything which is good. That's just why I've got... You guys here, all the great things. Shirt, all of you guys from Ochurios. Boom. 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 <laughs> <laughs> did, I, did I spoil it right there? I don't understand how you said it, everybody. And then Jody, he was going so them. good. Jody. <laughs> he was going so well. And then all of a sudden, Ochurios. You just crush on bird at the end. You were going, you were going so well. <laughs> and then you just so went well. great. Respect. <laughs> well, pick well, up on that. Well, pick up on that, right. Jody. Pick up on, pick up on it, Jody. Forget the Ochi bit. We can just put a little brakes around that. Put a, a, a bracket around that. Yeah. Because we know that a lot of things that were established for this first time were established in Trelawney, Jamaica. Um, I will not dare to mention anything about. What's the place you're from again? Please don't, don't please don't mention them. anything, Jody. Let's 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 put an open and close quotation around <laughs> Ochi and move on. <laughs> all these breaks began in Trelawney, like it was the richest parish in Jamaica. <laughs> okay. In well, that's where my grandfather is from. Place, yes. <laughs> the first place in the Western world to have running tap water. I will not dare to say anymore. Uh-huh. So. Let's but, not go there with your fantastic story. Well, let, let, let's let, let's move from that but, and, 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 and talk about the like the positive thing. Like you're in Jamaica. Actually, you're the only one in Jamaica now. What is the mood like now? I mean, Chilon is not far from Montego Bay. What's what's the what's the general essence, the mood now with all of the recent upheavals? All right, there's a lot happening here. Um, and I'm going to be honest with you, a lot of it I've chewed myself out of because it was too much going on all at once. So mm. I had to tone it down and step away from it. Like literally stop going on Instagram to just watch these things or on Facebook or just, just don't listen to the news for a while. I have the, the, um, the updates that come on, um, on my phone all the time about news and what's happening live. 
and it's always so overwhelming you get it live all the time mm. because it makes you like you're in a different place like everybody i say a pair movie i go on a jamaica like literally jam flicks we call it jam flicks netflix move across I mean, like, jam flicks jam flicks it's for real like it's like a movie the things that are happening in jamaica that's how it seems like but you see the thing is i say that it is the opening of social media and the access to digital communication mm. in a faster way as all these things were happening before it just coming to us at a faster faster space um space and a faster time mm. so it's like literally the face it's real um you know with the development with the trial with the um the situation with the cult and the church that's more you know concentrated here because it's montego bay it's right next to us um so some people are very scared but i'm going to tell you the truth um i said to somebody first satanic church to be established was established back in st catherine when i was in high school i remember that experience because i was in high school and the experience a lot of spiritual things that were revealed to us at that time and that was back in 1990 something right the first and, satanic um, church was established publicly i mean because there's always been satanic Pub- church in jamaica yes. yeah publicly was back when i was in high school and it was in st catherine they established a church put up a sign all of these things so it is not new to jamaica right but being out in the open like this um i think it brought a lot of attention to a lot of things that people were not aware of or some people <coughs> turn their eye, their blind eye to because they always knew it established they just turned a blind eye to, or who believes this believe it and who don't believe don't believe right what i don't like about this situation is the fact that um it's a labeling on churches i like okay. heard persons making comments about the generalization of them not like church because see why men are like church um you know that i thought was really ignorant of a lot of people who did and said that um that's my personal view on that uh when it talk about this, the crime levels no and the abductions those are scary um two of the young girls who are still missing um when well, one of them was found one of them is still missing, so both from six and um the two of the young lady one was um one was found and then the other one is still missing were passed with the old girl so it was very close to us really i didn't know that one I yeah um, passed with the old girl so it, we have a tight knit on how we discuss you know what's going on how we follow up on the stories but there are a lot of abductions that have been happening and, and there's um, there's three there's three oh. girls apart there was abducted separate time in one tax one taxi but they found them or something like that they found yeah they one of those were was a westwood old girl and oh, wow. one teacher stone before oh. um also a past westwood student so <clears> um throat> there are lots of things that have been happening over a period of time but just having it all condensed in a, a space of time that one thing happening after the next after the, the next you know shootings beheadings all of these things are happening not all of it comes in the news right at you they're in segments at different parts but it existed before it's just that it's coming at us really fast and it but, can but, be overwhelming yeah but can, can i just ask a question and to anybody and i see fits were walking see you're in jamaica what's your take on on that um the, the news is a reflection of what is happening that's their job that's their duty do you think the news is actually going a bit too much or is it that the information is coming or a lot of the atrocities are coming to them to reflect it let's so we we take about that um as I, i before i came on i was just speaking to um an executive person uh, executive in jamaica about that um the the the, the news has a, there's a news editor there's a news manager mm. and the news is fashioned in a way that it has to be exciting and when i say exciting is that the more graphic it sounds is the more newsy newsworthy right? so, right. mm. yeah so it's so imagine if you have on the 7:00 news or the 8:00 news 
only good stories. People who walk away and say, no, no, I go on today in Jamaica. The news boring. Mm. You, you understand what I'm saying? So, so it is, if you notice that the murders, the, the bad news are put at the front. When it comes down to the good thing that we're going to the society, right? It's a, it's a, it's a one minute segment or a small, or a sidebar, or side mm. or a side dish. It is never the main course, right? Um, so, or, or if you have, said, say the Prime Minister do, a, um, do something good in Scotland, right? They will lead with that. And then for the rest of the news, I'll spare murder, 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 murder. So although they've started the Prime Minister or something, everything has come after that. It's wipe out the first story, you know? So the news is pushed and marketed away um, at particular times to to um, to drive fear, to drive algorithm, to drive sensationalism, to drive viewership, you know? Yo, you know what? Oops, upon the news since night, you know. It, it's but if you ever have a news, a news hour of just good news, right? Uh, can remember during the news time period is the highest in terms of um, advertisement, you know, one of the dearest advertisement slots. So people now go tune in. Like, I care about the news boring to them. I care about the news. Vita, what, yeah. what do you think? What do you think about that? Um, well, well, I, I agree mm. with it. I agree with what Lester said because we are psychologically mm. conditioned to for excitement, and and what is excitement to most of us out of the norm, you know. So when you hear somebody kill, or in America with the the naked, with the sex that sells in Jamaica, it's the crime, and then we are we are desensitized as far as um, debt or or. The graph, the more graphic it is, is the more catchy it is to us, and that's what's happening. So the news, you work in the news, um, oh, we say it, he's doing his job. So we want to make money. That's how we make his money. That's how they, you know. So the, mm -hmm. their job is to get our attention. What do you do if you talk about the Christian church over there? Everything is okay. Every Sunday morning they go to church. Why would I want to listen to, to that? I'll get up and go to church. But if you said 10 people were killed in the church, that's news. There's a, there's a point, and I come to Jody, there's a point that Lester said about driving fear. I can understand driving views and boosting viewership in order to get advertisement because newspapers are not selling in the broadsheet much more. It is actually the online, and the online is based on the adverts and the amount of clicks they can get. But the bit about driving fear, do, do you, is it the mindset that people are driving fear or is it just the fact that the, the news, by virtue of it, does drive fear, but it is not like there's an intention to drive fear? Jody, what do you think? There's always the intention to drive fear. You think there's that's an intention how, to drive fear? That's how they control us. Um, it's always been mm. that way. And it's not just Jamaica, it's international. Um, that's how they get us to make decisions about what we do daily. It's how they get us to wear a mask all the time, even though there are other functions where some people are not wearing masks, vaxxed or unvaxxed. And we don't know of the COVID numbers when that happens. But mm. hey, um, that's how they get us to do to take the vaccines. Mm. I'm just saying this in relation to COVID, but it's everything else. That's how yes. they get us to make decisions. That's how they drive us to vote. That's how they drive us to um, make decisions about our health, um, make decisions about what we buy and not buy. Um, so it's a controlling factor. And this has been used by many leaders for many years in every country in the world. Um, it, it, it's what, as Lester says, it what drives excitement and keeps our attention. Um, you know, so for me personally, uh, when you talk about driving fear, that is something I, I, I have personally accepted for many years now. That the news, the news is there for that. If they want us to be more in tune about environment and um, 
climate change, then they start packing the whole media right across the world with climate change because they want us to make decisions. They want our actions to be influenced by what they're showing us and telling us. Um, everybody knows there is global warming, but do they want to push um, some legislation very soon? Mm. It's going to happen. You're going to see this in the next few weeks. Sorry, I'm talking too much. All right, so as I said, right, is that they will do these things internationally, um, locally, to help us to make the decisions that they want us to make. It's always been that way, and it will yeah. never change. It's a leadership style, it's a leadership strategy, um, is what they've used over the years to help us make decisions. Why all of a sudden, um, Lester, there is no longer the slim chick who needs to look MAGA like a Russian model. Um, it's no big butts and small hips. That was driven by media. It was all driven by media. So no, the norm is, no, what was the norm is no longer the norm. Why is it that we're seeing now powerful black couples and their families in media more than we're seeing white supremacy in power. You don't understand that there's a switch because of the influence that has been pushed on us. Why was that influence pushed? This influence was pushed way back from 2018 when we had all of those um, different, the, all those different things that happened with um, black persons were being killed and um, the influence for black people to rise up mm. in a different way which is literally what happened. But what they did not expect to happen is the, the level of education that would come with it. Mm. I know you're fine. That our biggest role models in the world this year and last year um, are black people. Okay. And you will see this keep ch mm. changing because of what was pushed into our minds. Yeah. Okay, well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us on Talk and Sip. I'm with Jody, Gita, and um, Lester. Uh, Listen, we're going to talk some more Gaza because the name Gaza is became, becoming a very... I don't know if you still want to associate yourself with Gaza name because of some things of recent days. Um, but we'll come back to that. Let's, uh, even at the end, we're going to talk to, I see your face. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait a second. Wait a second. And um, please, let, let, we'd like to know as well, do you believe that the media, not just in Jamaica, the media drive fear? Is the media driving fear? Do, is, or is it because of the viewership? We're looking at how uh, a lot of the media is not promoting or you're not seeing positive, enlightening, empowering, encouraging, inspiring, motivating stuff. You're seeing doom, 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 you know, and stuff like that. What do you think about that? Sideshow, side show. Listen, there was, there's something about Gaza of recent days. I don't know what it was. And, and there's something about the term Gaza. Do you remember what it was of recent days? Something are, was you in the news. About, are, are you talking about the Klansman trial? Yes, yes. I saw something. Oh, that's what you're talking about. Yes, they said something and, 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 uh, and, and, the, and allege. Yes, yes. The witness, the witness says, you know, and I allege, the witness said, and it's yeah. a thing with me, right? Me I said Gaza, yeah, Gaza. A Gaza for life. <laughs> but what I'm saying is that my support for Vibes Cartel music is separate from Vibes Cartel, the man <clears throat> from Aditya Adahim Palmer. Palmer. Mm. Totally different. You understand me? Now, I like him music, you know? I like him play upon words, I like him similes, I like the history lessons, I like the biology, I like the chemistry where I'm teaching, I like the, the metaphors I'm using, use, and the politics. Yeah, yeah. Of, yeah, and he, and, was, and and he, just, he just paid for the girl and said, be a be, you know? Yeah, yeah but I mean, in, in music, in, is infused with a lot of things. But <clears throat> he, he, he was accused of committing a murder. He was tried by a jury of his peers mm. and sentenced to life in prison, 35 years in a prison. I yeah. no problem with that. I <laughs> no problem with that. Now, this witness in the Klansman trial has given some revelation which for me is not new we know about it mm. for a long time the wider public don't know right um that he ordered um hits right uh, uh, th this person said he ordered three 
hits. Cartel was second in command in you know, the Klansman gang next to Tesha Miller. Okay. We, mm. we, we, we know that. It, it, it's nothing. I never knew that. No, but, but no, yes, but remember, say me, not entertainment or, or, or media. But what yes. I'm saying is that he is not the only one. He, 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 it's, it's not something strange. Or, 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 so many people are, oh, okay, all right, calm down. Yes, 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 yes. You know well, well, Lester, you know? well, Lester, you know, for some of us, it's new to us because I wasn't one who followed the whole story or no, even know who um, certain people um, names when I hear it, I have to look them up and see who they are. So yes, for some of us, it's new to us. Yes, for you being in the in the field and and um, the, the the community where you know that it's new to some of us. So yes, it shocked me when I hear certain situation and who is involved with with who. So yes, when I hear certain situation, it is shocking. So I'm but, one but, of them but telling to calm down, but I cannot calm down because I didn't know. But but what well, well, I know. All right. Cartel behavior is a learned behavior. Who was cartel mentor into music? Born to killer. Right? We are, we are going to take it back now. Who was born to killer mentor into the music? Shabarang Sambujubantan. Right? Mm -hmm. So who was Shabarang Sambujubantan them mentor into the music? Josie Will them and Charlie Chaplin them. Right? Who was their mentor? Josie Will and Charlie Chaplin them. Daddy, you ride them. Who was your mentor? Bob Marley. We could start from Dessa. And we, Bob all Marley. Bob, we all know Bob Marley's story. But it, and, and this is what I'm saying. When people make it look like, say, an artist involved in gangsterism is new. Robert Nesta Marley went up to RGR. 32 Lindos Road, right? Him and Alan Skilko. This, this is not alleged. Uh, that's something that happened. It's documented. It's in the books, them. Skilko, right about this. And he mash up the wall of the glass, the ground floor. Him and a whole sea of people from Trench Town. Mm. Dan Tapping, the manager, right? Mm -hmm. English boy, <laughs> come downstairs and what's happening? And him beat up Dan Tapping and broke him on. Mm. And gave him the record and say, listen, if me not hear this play in the next 20, 30 minutes, you understand me? I'm going to finish the job up here, so RJ and I going to be up here again. Mm. <clears throat> so, mm. gangsterism and badmanism, right? From the Honorable Robert Nesta Marley. A death it has stem from. So, what we're seeing now, we, this, these are the grandchildren that are perpetrating what they learned from their grandfathers. Wow. They're, 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 more, so, they're so, more vicious, though, isn't it? But in a, in a, I mean, if you go follow with the Bible, say, right? They said that this the, the new generations are going to be wickeder and wickeder and wickeder. Have the Bible said that? Haven't we seen that? Man used to okay. fight with sword and big stone. Now we are fight with um, nuclear weapon and and, and, and and germ warfare and anything. Well, well, well. Bill Gates said that germ warfare is going to come soon, so we have to fight that. Sir. He has a solution already as well at the same time. But, but, but what, what, what I'm saying is that <laughs> these vaccine. things are not new. Uh, the, wow. these, these things are not new. Well, well thank I mean, you for schooling <clears throat> me tonight. I really respect all that knowledge. Yes. Well, I mean, <clears throat> that, that, that's very interesting there, you know. But so, 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 so therefore, what, so what you're talking about then is um, the separation of the term Gaza with the music and the individual as just like with... So what about like, R. Kelly? What about R. Kelly? Do people... For, will, for, this is R. Kelly for, 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 or, or is it no, shut down R. Kelly? I'm just putting that as a segue there. Yeah. I, I spoke about this last week, Sunday, on another part, podcast, right? Mm -hmm. um, all right. R. Kelly, the singer, the artist, hasn't committed a crime. Robert Kelly, the man, committed a crime. But... Remember, a crime, a crime has two parts to it. You have the victim and you have the criminal, right? Now, when parents, when parents are going to carry them 12, 13, 14, 15, 16-year-old girls to 
a grown ass man and leave them girl picnic in the care of a grown ass man and gang about them business. Right? Is it that parent also culpable? Um culpable in the mm. act. Yes, mm. agreed. But as a grown ass man, unless you're a rapist or a, a pedophile, you're not supposed to touch a child. Which no, is no, correct but, again. But, but, no, but 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 also but, but as as I said, there, there, there's, no, there's a but still less than no, no 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 I I'm not defending R. Kelly you know, and yeah. saying mm. why would you as a parent? That's why Tommy Chin and Tessan Chin, me respect um, Daddy Chin, Richard Chin, them father, right? Because me that studio with them up a Sly and Rabbit on Red News Road. And that man in the studio, two check out in the morning, and the man said, a buck. Right? Him now left him girl picking and going away, and they were adults at the time. Mm. They were like 19, 20 at the time. But he, every studio session, he's there with his girls. So, because he wants to make sure that he, as a father, is doing his fatherly duty and protect him, girl them. But you carry one 13 year old, Aliyah, go to studio, and leave her with a grown man. Who it is rumored from them tennis R. Kelly like little girls. Mm. I, 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 it, it is not I, new. I go back to the question and I ask Vita and I ask um, Jody, would you listen to R. Kelly music still? Yes. J Jody? Um. Are you, you know, you know, is R. Kelly? I'm <laughs> 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 just. Guess... Well, she wasn't. She, they, they didn't drop her off there when she was twelve. <laughs> <laughs> never ready. But I said yes. I said yes. We're never I, ready. No, Jody hasn't answered. <laughs> Jody hasn't answered, Peter. <laughs> Jody's being diplomatic. Jody. I think, I believe, I can fly is one of the most used inspirational songs of all time. And the message was brought to us by someone who is deeply troubled, but it does not change the message of the song. Mm. That is my mistake. Yes, yes. But, 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 Silver, for sure you said him convicted, wait, him not convicted, for sure you said him, um... He's convicted, him, he's guilty. Yeah, 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 yeah. But what mm. I'm, yeah, he's convicted. But for sure you said the child doesn't mean nothing to the wider public. The, oh, yeah, the, he's, the, he's, the street... He's, he's, Gone Put up, on yes. The yeah, gone up. By five hundred percent. Yes, yes. By five hundred percent. You know, so yes. if 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 the world was that appalled by by R. Kelly's action, you understand me? So, uh, so YouTube. So, so, so it's so so keep talking. YouTube so. has taken down R. Kelly's songs, right? The the ones that he performed, right? I don't know if they put it back yet, yet but they have mm. taken it down. But you, you, you can't cancel can R. Kelly out of entertainment because he has written for so many people. Many people. Right? I mean, there's not one major artist in the last 25 years that R. Kelly has written or produced for. Mm. So if, if, if you're going to cancel oh, R. Kelly, I'm just for you. Mm. if you're going to cancel R. Kelly, it's a whole generation of artists that have to cancel their music, which doesn't make no sense. And I'm saying, what has his art done? What has his art done? You know, and we are quicker to cancel an entertainer, but we are not quick to cancel a politician. Mm. You know, okay. we put in any society, we put more responsibility and accountability on an entertainer. Or a, or, a, or, a, or, a, or a a a sports personnel, yes, right, yes. to be accountable, to be respectable, to be a role model than any politician. Yes, yes. Right. The, the late <clears throat> Colin Powell will pass. Right. Stood up in the Rose Garden. Stood up in the in, in the White House press, press and lie to the world about Iraq. Having weapon of mass destruction. Did, right? did, he, did, he, did he lie intentionally or based on the evidence that he had? He lied he intentionally says... because because two years no 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 two years mm -hmm. before that the UN um uh, um investigators the guys. were in Iraq were in Iraq and they gave a report to United Nations right and to the United States and to everybody that Saddam has decommissioned 
the, 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 the plutonium enrichment plant. There was no weapon of mass destruction. Them mm. after all, all squad missile and something like that. You understand mm. me? Two little Patriot yeah. missile. Right? And who them buy? Who Iraq buy them something from? United States. Yes, 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 yes. Well, well. Anyway, I, I, I guess just like with Michael Jackson, you know, and Bill Cosby and everything, you know, the, the 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 legacy of these persons and the work, their art still lives on and won't die. You know what I mean? Um, which there has to be a separation as much as possible with the message and the messenger, I would say. But did you know, guys, that there is now no need for mandatory vaccine because we now got a pill. You know that. In the in the United Kingdom, there is, but you yeah. know, with else right now. So yes. are they are they doing a trial right now? Oh. Well, well, well. I mean, I mean, just the point, just the fact that there is now uh, a pill that questions the whole need for the whole mandatory thing. Where everybody is saying you have to, you have to. Because I mean, I was reading up a lot on this actual pill, and it's a powerful stuff, man. You can treat it from home. You don't have to go to the hospital. You know what I'm saying? And um, so it, it questions now the need for persons who are pushing for the whole thing to be mandatory and forcing people. Do you, what do you guys think about it? Just the fact that... Sorry. Okay, yeah. so, so... Just, sorry, keep talking. Just, yeah. So the fact is that when COVID started, all four of us right here and the world, all the government, um, the, the medical field, they were doing research. Mm. They didn't know what it was. It was a trial and failure. So they were trying. They, the first time they tried of what can work, what are we dealing with? Yes. How do we overcome this? Whatever the case is, yes, there can spare a theory out there that it was created just because of whatever. But the, we did not know what we were dealing with. So as mm. far as research and the medical field, and I guess what they revealed to us is that we, the more we study, the more we know how to deal with it. So the vaccine was the situation to say, okay, maybe we can use this to control it where we can go back to normal. Yes. You have scientists still out there working to see what is this disease? How do we counteract it? How do we treat it? Can we treat it? So yes, every time they do a research or get to know it more, they're going to produce something. So this is not surprising that they yes. have a a pill now to treat it and it's going to be a situation like the flu the way we deal with it so i'm not yeah. surprised by that i'm glad i hope it would have come sooner but research and we have to be careful so 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 therefore it is called the antiviral lagavaria monopiravir is safe and effective at reducing the risk of hospitalization and death in people with mild to moderate covid19 who are at increased risk of developing severe disease Medicines and Healthcare Products Regulatory Agency, MHRA, announced today, that was a couple of days ago, and they're saying lots of other countries are now also pushing for their version. Just like when the vaccine came about, a lot of countries started to push, and I believe the UK was the one, you know, that started it as well. I believe the UK was the first person who did it. It was a guy by the name of William Shakespeare. And I think in America, it was a Jamaican nurse, if I'm not mistaken, was the first black lady the one in America that did it. But I think the whole point now is that I, I think that the whole mandatory thing now has got to be questioned now because you, 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 I believe the, the options are going to be so rigorous now. The options with natural, the option with the pills, the option with the vaccine. I don't know what you guys think, Jordan. What, what do you think about these, these breakthroughs? Because there's going to be breakthroughs, you know, as well. Um... I have no comment. You have no comment? Because your comment will make my things start to spin. Let's start. <laughs> no, but you see, it, 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 you have to look at it. Um, sorry? UK was not the first country to come up with a pill or a treatment. Interesting. Interesting point. So therefore, the UK is deemed to be the one which is what? Official in a sense. The other ones are sort of underground like which they're trying to push aside because of the fact that the money is not coming there is it is the money so making you know what uh, let me tell you uh Pfizer has an equal version to um to the one in uk so you're going to see it on the the u.s market soon okay vita so look out for that soon let's see what you're saying um well look 
as I said on this show before, that when you look at the United States military technology, it is seven and a half years ahead of the world's technology, right? So, uh, and, and t things are different now. Of resources and information and technology that, that is available now and how you can create a response to particular incidents now, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, you did not have the resources or technology to respond to certain emergencies as quickly as you could now. So see, having a pill now um, with a short turnaround with the time is not surprising. You know, my issue is how long have they have these pills? <laughs> mm. <laughs> because I don't think it's new. And 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 all these vaccines going to Jamaica, is it leftovers? <laughs> I didn't say that. I just um, I'm just I'm just repeating so, what I read. Um, just in case I get knocked off and somebody comes to look for me. With every virus. With every medication that's created, there's an antidote. There is a cure for. Jody, say it loud. Jody, say it louder, Jody. Jody, but but hold on, hold on, Jody. <laughs> I, I needed to say it better. I need to say. I'm serious. Every virus that is created is patented. Right. Yes, sir. It is patented. And a cure made. And a cure is and made, cure. else, else there, there's At no the pattern. So, so, so there, is a, there is a trend. There is a trend. Go, go, go continue, Jody. Anyway, so, um, because I don't have a PhD and I don't have an MD. Portia have delegates as well, PhDs. <laughs> Somebody said a young lady wants a gladiator I'm Spartacus. See, people have been listening to you. <laughs> Jody, there um, you go, Jody. Sorry, I have not. Jody, there you I go. I have not been coming. People are watching. People are listening to you, Jody. They are listening to you. Spartacus needs to hear me. <laughs> Spartacus is right there. <laughs> But you mean what I'm glad you I'm Spartacus, yes, Tom. Jody, he have the antidote. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Jody. You're saying, Jody, before we, um, for Spartacus interrupt. <laughs> for Spartacus interrupt. Show you, of course. Ah, do you understand? <laughs> change. But listen, but listen, just to the point that she was saying, right. the okay. mic. Seriously, no. Yes. Um, on a serious note. Okay. I need a drink for that. Um, yeah, of course. Um, seriously, no, seriously. Let me, let me go back to serious. All right. Um, These influences are, are, are based on a lot of what we were talking about in media fair, um, driving us to make decisions that are based on the knowledge they feed us, right? The more knowledge they feed us, the more influenced we are to make these decisions, just like um, with how we were influenced into believing that this is actually a vaccine that will work to prevent COVID in the same sentence they're saying it's safe, they're saying that it does not prevent it. I don't know if you all listen to this. It's in the same sentence they're telling us it's safe. In the same sentence they're telling us, even if we take it, we still have to wear the mask, we still have to do these things because it doesn't prevent it. It just lessens the effect. No, um, that for me was the only thing I needed to hear as somebody with medical knowledge that yes. 
as much as you're telling me one thing. You know, like you're having two negatives in a sentence, what we learned in English language. Mm. You understand? Um, you know, it's like having a negative and a positive and a negative and a negative and then a negative and a positive. Um, it gives us the same results. It's going to be negative. Mm. Um, so that for me alone, um, scientifically, never gave me enough that I needed to see that you guys are confident in what you're doing. Um, even with the whole development of the of how the disease and the virus spread, that was really weird to me. And it's the same thing that other scientists are saying all over the world. A lot of nurses all over the world are not taking the vaccine for this reason. A lot of doctors over, all over the world are not taking the vaccine for this reason. Because we're saying to you, we've been working with COVID patients in and out two years straight, and we're not all dead. Yeah, Somebody yeah. do that to us. We are working with COVID patients, suctioning out their throat holes, their nose, their nostrils, sorry to be so graphics, cleaning up people's mess, coming in direct contact with COVID patients, and we're not all dead. Explain that. And you're going to tell me that because I take the vaccine, it's going to prevent me from catching it. And I've been doing mm. this two years, <clears throat> doing the same infection control measures as I would do for any other virus, for any other infection. Yeah. And we're still here. Explain that to us. Yes, yes. Yeah. So um, it, it's, it's just that this is going to happen now and the medications are going to come in cheaper and faster than the vaccines are even able to get across the world because it's going to be a different chain. It's a completely different chain for oral medication than there is for an injection and a vaccine even so. The chain, the, the chain at which it must travel is yeah. way faster than any um, vaccine. And so it is going yeah. to happen with so and countries are going to get their hands on it. And as Vita said, it's going to be like a flu pill, like a multi-symptom that you can yeah. take. That's how cheap it's going to come in and it's going to sell all over the world. Um, it's a pharmaceutical strategy that has been mm. used for years and years and years and years and years and years. And it's all about the money. And if nobody don't get that this is all about the money, then, you know. Um, do you know, I, I was thinking. I, I do network marketing, and um, in some network marketing companies, there is a thing where you 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 do monthly, you do a monthly fee to keep active, to keep active, and that is how a lot of the the companies maintain their thing, and how people in their downline and the upline maintain their their money and they get money because of this monthly fee. And then somebody was speaking to me and I said, like when somebody's on hypertension tablets or vitamin D, it's a monthly thing or so which you get every day, every month. So therefore the pharmaceutical companies and the doctors or so will prescribe it. It's like there's this money which they know, their, pro their, their projection of what is going to be coming in. And then... I pharmaceuticals and I tell you that's exactly how it works. Yeah, and, and then it, it hit me very powerfully when I hear about the vaccine now, and the, the, the first shot, the second shot, and then the booster now, I say, ah, <laughs> so the booster now is like the, the bit now which is permanent, so therefore these guys are going to be rivaling Jeff Bezos and Richard Branson and these guys, I know, these guys are going to be running hot than Elon Musk, man, these guys are going to go to space every day, traveling, man, these guys are going to make some big money. That's what I was thinking. I'm thinking like Mama Dali. When Mama Dali was talking, I said, all of a sudden, everything is black is bad. Black is bad. Then you got white is good. White is good. Then I realized that something is wrong. And then I said, hang on a second. So I started to think about this whole thing. And I was saying, hang on a second. This is me now. I move from Mama Dali. This is a money-making thing, man. This is a money-making thing. Lester. <laughs> Yeah. When I look at um, countries like Israel, the Netherlands, where most of the population is vaccinated, fully vaccinated, but we're having high incidence of persons who are fully vaccinated, falling ill or dying from COVID. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, and you have persons in Israel and in, in the Netherlands and Germany who are fully vaccinated, 
get booster shots and are catching COVID two and three times. You know, it happened in the US too with 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 um, superstar Dave Chappelle. Uh, he, he caught COVID twice wow. after being fully vaccinated. You know. Yeah. So it it, it it's uh, for me for me. I mean, I, I'm fully vaccinated, you know, and I can tell you, the only reason why I take the vaccination, I go to the movies a lot, and they're not going to let me in the cinema, right? And some well, a movie I come to more for watch, I'm telling you, see it up. Well, you know, the movie, you, need, you know, the movie you need to watch is um, The Harder They Fall. I don't know if you guys have watched I watch it. it. I, 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 I watch it. Listen, I watch it. Listen, man. Oh, Jesse is here. Jesse, we can bring Jesse in at, at some point so she can tell us about some positive developments with her business. Um, All right, step out. Well, you're gonna, you're gonna step. Who's gonna step out? I'll step out. I need a drink. Oh, I was. Well, somebody's like competing. One want to go to Sparta because someone want to go no. to where? One owner have to step out. Tony can, Tony can step out one time. Okay, okay, okay. Jody wants to go to Spartacus. Jody, go, go. I am Spartacus. I'll step. I got the bad girl. Go on. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. <laughs> She's not going to go down. She's not going to go down because you're such a scandal for her. She's not going to leave now. Why? How many? How many? It depends on how much Spartacus they are in. If there are like six of them where I can do an audition and they can fight against each other, we can do a whole Olympic thing. What is wrong I'm with good. you? Well, hold on. What's the guy's name again? What's that guy that does that show again? Kevin what? Kevin Samuels? Yeah, man. I'm, well, a, I'm a done, man. Well, I can do his equivalent of his um, dating thing. I, I'll do the... I'm I'm we will do I'm sorry I'm sorry Jordan go on go on Jordan is ready if I get about if I get about like 6 6 DMs from from Spartacus types then yeah we can do a whole gladiator thing I There you go Spartacus just DM her 6 times yes but but it has to come back to no, me and Lester so we can do the sh people. so we can <laughs> so we can do the betting and stuff like that you know what I mean <laughs> <laughs> there was something I was going to say. Jody, you're going or not? You want me to go? No, I'm going to go because I have my kids, so I'm going to go check on them. Okay. Oh, sorry, the one over here, the one over here, pit me. One over here, pit me, Jay. One over here, pit me. We're just living a work here. Jody, listen. Don't listen to Lester. <laughs> I'll see you, Le I'll see you, Jody. Here we go. Jody, 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 We're kidding, though. We're kidding, though. We're kidding, though. Listen, talk about that film. Talk about that film. I, I, talk, talk about that film there. Uh, um, I'm just uh, uh, they're home now. Yeah. Yeah, man. Make sure. Yeah, kiddies, invite yourself. I was trying to find it, but I couldn't find it. The, this film here, um, Order yeah. They Fall, there was something about it, you know? You see? You see? Um, the hard, uh, um, the, the, um, Vita, I don't know if you know our, our, our um... Guys, I'm going to go back. Shh, 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 shh. Can't show them. Shh, shh, shh. We're going to lie. Shh, shh, shh. Guys, I'm going to lie. Shh, shh, shh. Shh, shh, shh. Shh, Hi, guys. Good evening. Happy birthday. How are you doing? I'm well, thanks. Hey! <laughs> Hi, welcome, happy birthday! I'm thank you. It's Jesse's. It's Jesse's birthday. This is Jesse, Jesse's now birthday. the owner. This is the owner's birthday. Uh -huh. Jesse, the, Her, the, 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 the real boss's birthday. Is my son boss. turned three. Yes, he's the real okay, boss. Okay, well, awesome. And we did it with, this is my shirt that I did. <laughs> so you so did church we... too? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That Jeez. that that sweater, that hoodie that um Lester is wearing was done by me. Oh, okay, nice. so 
So eventually, you're going to see a talking stick thing from for Silver and very soon as well. Yes, yes. yes. Get you branded. Yes. Well, well, well let's start on. I'm going to sh- Why the water man? He's bringing up money. He's bringing up money. He's show you him whole house because everything in there is from Jeffy. <laughs> he got a whole box the other day. Like everything you can think of that we sell, he got everything. Question, and Broca? he's just been showing off. What is that? Saying? Broca? Blo- blogging God. Blogging, blogging God. God. So that's awesome. Thank well, well, you. Ki- well, kiddies, well, listen, the reason we, I, I, I message you because I've been seeing you all over the papers. You know what I mean? I, I, keep, I keep liking, liking. Every time I like, I said, didn't I like this already? And I realized another one. <laughs> it's a new one. <laughs> it's a new one. Um, but you, you have had some, some you know, developments. Um, and I said, I wanted to get some nice, few good stories, some positive stuff. You know? But tell mm-hmm. us about the new developments with, with um, your business there, Jesse Decker. Well, <laughs> I'm happy to announce that um, after three years in business, we took a decision to take our business from our home to an actual physical location mm. to serve our customer base. We find that, you know, our business is growing and our clientele is growing and people are now asking to see and touch and, you know, feel the items before they actually purchase them. Yes. And we want to meet them at that need. Because while we guarantee that we're giving you quality products, you know, it's good that persons can see what they're getting before they actually get it. Yes. So the move from online to a physical space was to accommodate that primarily. In addition, we are, I believe, on the tail end of the pandemic. So we're getting back to some level of normalcy. Mm. And, you know, December is coming, Christmas, Christmas is a few weeks away. Mm. And I know that's one of our very busiest periods. So I know that preparing to receive the customers that we'll get and the booming in, in the economy that will come, we are preparing ourselves for that. So that was the real main reason why we decided to open our store space right now. And it has been really good so far. The, the, the traction that we've gotten, the attention that we've gotten um, after having done that, because we had a grand opening on the 9th of October, Yes. And we had a really good turnout. What we did was we invited other small businesses to display their items too. So it wasn't only a grand opening for Jesse's, but it was a pop-up shop. Yes. The persons who have small businesses who hadn't been out for months or, or over a year to show their products, they were able to rent a, a boot space, come out on that day, and they got some, you know, they got sales. A lot of them said they did really well. So it's not even about us opening a business still born. We're trying to yeah. create this network of entrepreneurs where we can support each other yeah, and help to build nice. each other. And that's what we're all about. Even in our shop right now, I see one of one of them just, just joined the live. Yes. I have shelf spaces rented out to other small businesses who don't have a store, don't have a location. They can pay a fee per month and leave the products in my store. And they can send their customers to pick up from me there. They don't have to, okay. you know, run around and do their own deliveries or they don't have to meet people at their houses. They can leave them at my store and their clients come and pick up there. And it's a mutual benefit. You yes. know, when their clients come to collect from their um, pickup, they'll, they'll see my items. Mm. And when my clients come to pick up from me, they'll see their items. Oh <laughs> this, is, this is what the four times they see changing now. If we love Lester one more time, Lester, I think what you need to do, you, you, you need to look a walk a little. What, uh, what do you call it? A I, runway? I can't walk. I can't. You need to, you need to look a runway. Guys, let me just pause for a minute yes. about, um, and, and say thanks to Lester. Ever since we started three years ago, yes. Lester has been a constant customer. When I say constant, almost every month, <laughs> if not every other month, he's ordering something. It's not for himself, for somebody else. Yes. And the fact that he's so far away and he thinks that, you know, it's important to support uh, me and what I'm doing, it means a lot. Yes. And so I, I, I just want to pick him up for that. He promotes the page. He, yes. You know, whenever he buys something, he shares it and all of that. I can't pay for that. Even though he's buying mm, from me, I can't yes. pay for what I get from that. And yeah. also, it was because of Lester who got me to do the first interview with you at the same exactly. time. Exactly. He's and, always calling and on every me. Every time. And, and I think that is good. But, but can you tell me the, 
the move from the online, even though the online mm -hmm. still will exist, to, 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 the, to the physical. What, what, what is it like back out? You know, it's like this freedom now. And what is it like some of the persons who are now with you? What are they saying? Or what has what, what the transition been like then? Um, to be honest, it has been welcoming and warm. First of all, when people walk into the space, Yes. They love how it's set up. They love the colors, the decor, and everything. People get to see what we've been selling all along because we are a decor company too. And when they walk in, they love the ambience, they love, they love the atmosphere, mm. and it's just a welcoming feeling, you know. And sometimes people just come and just, they just want to look around. Let's I, the, I have clients. Let's the change again. Sorry, keep talking. <laughs> I have clients who come to, to say that they just want to come in and see what the store looks like. You know, they have been hearing about it all along. Today, even though we're not open on Saturdays, I was at the store today and a client came by to pick up something. <laughs> can That's like a key holder. Can, 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 can you, every time it comes in, you, you, need to just, you need to just break and just talk about that and carry on. Yes, so that <laughs> item he's now showing is our key holder, our personalized key holder. It's cut out into wood and it's cut out using a laser and then it's personalized um, with his name on it, Lester. I know it's all about the money, right? So the S had to be the dollar sign. Yes. And of course, it had to have green in there somewhere, or else. Well, 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 we have to we have to make sure that I I speak to you about getting a couple of things so for the UK, sure. you know what I mean? So sure, getting people sure. to do things in the UK. But but just finish off that point there, and and, mm -hmm. and after you finish that, where where are you located? But. Just about the transition and the, the interaction. Right. So so people yeah. are coming in and I see that in the comment section my friends yeah. are saying I see that I too, love the yeah. collaboration. Someone is saying the deco is absolutely beautiful, wonderful. Yes. Someone else said it feels like home, warm and yes. comfortable. You know, we've that's that's what we've been hearing. And I've set up this space like that because I want people to have that feeling of, you know, being welcomed. Another thing is because my next move and I'm saying this because I know I'm, I'm going to make myself uncomfortable for saying it, is that we're going to go into interior decor. Okay. So we're going to be going in, into people's houses and rearranging stuff and taking it from A to B, A to Z, whatever they want. So come next year, you'll, be, you'll hear more about that. So I wanted to, to, to have that look in my store. So, you know, inspire me and inspire people who walk in to say, yes. hey, can you come and do this for me at my house? Definitely, yes. Um, we are, for those of you who don't know, we are located at 14 Lady Musgrave Road, and it's a very central location. It's near to Crossroads, it's near to Halfway Tree, it's near to New Kingston, it's near to downtown. So all the main, you know, touch points in Kingston, you can get to us from any of those locations pretty, pretty easily. If you know where Spartan Gym used to be, or if you know mm. where the Cancer Society is, it's almost mixed with the Cancer Society. Can't, lock, can't miss it. Uh, we don't have a sign outside as yet, but we're, we're working on it. So very soon you'll be able to identify us by our sign outside. But I must pause to say, Stillburn, that we mm. are extremely grateful for all the love and support that we've been getting, even mm -hmm. since we made a transition. So I was saying that my a client came in today to pick up something, even though we weren't open, I was at the store, and she came to collect something, and she said to me, you know, this it's the first time meeting you in three years and she's she's been buying, buying from us for three years yes. so what the shop space is also allowing is for me to meet the faces behind people who order online because she said to me she saw me on smile jamaica when i just started um i had, I had an interview on smile yes. and she had reached out to us at that time and she's been ordering ever since and mm. i can safely say about 80 percent of our clientele 80 percent of our clientele are repeat clients wow. there are people who keep coming back who have been doing business with for years and i think that speaks a lot to the brand to the quality to the service that we're offering because mark you the, these branded shirts and things that we do come a dime a dozen they are everywhere yeah. they've been popping up everywhere yes but we find that our clients are loyal to our brand and they keep coming back to us and I think Vito, that speaks mm. to, you know, what they're getting from us. Vito, what, what do you want to ask, um, Kiddis? Um, So I'm kind of curious because let's say like someone, I'm in the States and I want to mm -hmm. order stuff. It's not possible for me to, to come to 
the, the, the physical store. Mm -hmm. um, why did you move away? Are you doing both? But why do you move away from online? Wouldn't that also, instead of moving away, to be a combination? I think she's still, she's frozen. But I think she's still doing oh, man, but online. I, I can't answer my kid is, um, I, I don't know if she gets a phone comes, call or something. Yeah, could but be a phone call. But she still does yeah. online because the bulk of her business is still done online because I okay. order stuff online. So no, she hasn't moved away from um, uh, um, the online. But the thing that the demand got so high, she has no physical space at her house to 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 oh, do for the manufacturing, manufacturing of the products. Okay. For the manufacturing. Of, so she oh, had to have a space awesome. outside of the home. She coming back here. Yeah. She she will just yeah. she's gonna come back in shortly. Oh, I'm sorry about that, guys. I yeah. accidentally disconnected the call, um the connection. Yeah, that's so okay. I'll, yeah. To answer your question, Vita, we haven't moved away from online. Mm. What we've done is expanded. So we have a website that people can order from anywhere in the world via our website. We yes. do still accept orders via WhatsApp and Instagram in our DMs. But again, you know, the need for a space to display even some of our items yes. and everything, you know, right, let right. us go oh, to, to open our store front. Okay, mm -hmm. well, I'm going to be placing my order soon. Yes. So I'm rest, looking forward to it. Thank you. Rush my shipment. Yeah. And have you, got, have you got customers from the UK? Uh, yes, I think I, I, we have shipped to the UK before, definitely. As a matter of fact, <laughs> In our very first year, Silburn, we were shipping to St. Martin, as far as Kenya, to the Netherlands, as you know, to um, Leicester, to the U.S. We have regular shipments to the U.S. And one of the things that happened was because of COVID and, you know, the, the borders had been closed for a while yes. and all of that, that kind of interrupted our shipping overseas. But things are getting back on track now, as I said, as we're going back to some level of normalcy. But Lester got his package in less than a week. Oh, we see. We oh, can wow. see that. Yeah. Yes, yes. He got his it's... package in less than a week. Mm. So, you know, whenever you want it, however you want it, let us know. We'll make it happen. It might okay. cost a little bit more sometimes. Depending makes on sense. And all of that. But right, that makes know, sense. If you, if you need it, then we'll get it to you. Well, let's, let's, can, I, can I just it break is. it down? Um, so, okay, let's just speak on that. Um, yeah. mm. Yeah, yeah, you know Ralph Lauren's wife, right? Ralph Lauren's wife. Yeah, she's in charge of the interior decorating aspect of Ralph Lauren, of Polo. Oh, right? Ralph Lauren home, Polo home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and, and the wife is responsible for that. And a lot of people don't know that Ralph Lauren have their own paint. Paul, mm -hmm. La Ralph Lauren has their own paint and stuff like that. And oh wow, yeah, yeah. we have Ralph Lauren paint here, the brand. Paint, yeah, very expensive paint though, very mm -hmm. expensive. Really? Paint. <laughs> So, yes. see this? You know, you know, ever I, I, I give you a little tidbit. Oh, by the <laughs> way, Lester is always pushing me down my limit. Like, yes. I'll not think about doing something and you say to me, Kiddies, what's the, new, what's the next product that's coming? You don't have anything in the pipeline. Um, do this. You know, I think you should try this. He mm. tell me pick it up what he's seeing there in the Netherlands and he'll say, you should try this out. So, mm. big up for that as well, too. The, 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 what I wanted to ask you, and is this, if somebody want to ship want want to buy things from you how does the costing go do do you build that cost including the shipment or the shipment costs they have to absorb it when it it goes to the uk yeah work? clients clients absorb the shipping cost completely because depending on the item that you order the value of the items and where you're where shipping to the you know the cost can get really crazy so for example if i ship something to the u.s straight to your home for example you, you, mm. you probably get that without custom fee charge but let's yes. assume that he has to pay a custom charge to get his stuff the other day yeah, 30 so I, right and we don't know what that yeah. is going to be until it gets there so we don't yeah. we are not liable for that we will yes. say to you to get it from kingston to wherever you are it costs us say two thousand dollars but mm. anything after that then the client is responsible for and, yes, and yes. i don't think it's unreasonable or it's really exorbitant to be honest but you know, as I said, if you want the stuff and you think it's worth it, then mm, mm. we'll make it happen. Well, what, one of the things that I'd like to do, just like how I invited you and to expose your business and do my bit, this is my contribution to Jamaica, as I always say all, at times. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And why I call you and say I want to get some some inspirational, motivational stuff. I would like you to actually find persons that you think I can bring in on the show, like. For that little thirty minute segment as well. Well, 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 well
you have to understand, sir, yes. is a whole production line of friend of we, you know. Mm. <laughs> me and kids can bring no me, and I'm serious. serious. You have yeah, Alwyn, serious. you have Tino, you have Naturalus, yeah. you have Tough mm -hmm. Tough. There's a whole production line of uh, Vita, you remember the the, 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 the the podcast I sent you last week? Yes. All of these guys on the podcast have their own business. Even people mm -hmm. who are, are watching I, me live right now are some of my friends. Yeah, who are and, the and we have we I have my on easy the like board. 10, 12, people 13, candles, 15, here, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that is it's so nice. Cool. That is it's so a cool nice. production so line of entrepreneurs coming out of Jamaica. Yes. But yes, but still, Brian, I, I don't know if you know, but I have a weekly live as well. On mm. Wednesday evenings at seven PM, my you time, know that. where I feature, I feature, yeah, call it creative. So anybody who I know who is in my network who's a creative, I interview them. I ask them about their business, talk about their business, why they started, and all of that. Yeah, nice. you see, I, I had stopped since I opened the shop. I had stopped because it was really hectic for me. I have found some some balance you now, and I'm back doing it. Starting back, starting Wednesday gone. Yes. And for the next four weeks, I'm booked already. With yes, guests. yes, yes. So, I, like I said, I'm creating that network and that, you know, synergy among us as entrepreneurs. We're not competing with anybody. Yes. And I said all Complimenting, time, complimenting each other, isn't it? I do, I yes. still support you. I still say, come along with me and, you know, let's do this together because we believe in collaboration. Yes. We can only get better and be successful if we collaborate. And I... I Found out very early in business because when I started Silburn, I didn't have a sewing machine. Mm. Oh wow! From a friend, I bought it from her, and when I realized that this was going to be something long term, I said to her, "Guess what? I'm going to pay you for this machine." And yes. she said, "Okay, sure." And then when clients started asking for things that we weren't doing, like embroidery, I had to say to a friend of mine, Randy McCarran from Brushe, I call him name all the time. I said, "Randy." You have an embroidery machine over there. Yeah, yeah Brescia Lee. Will you charge me? Me and Brescia is brother and sister. No, Trace, Trace wants some Brescia bag here. She talked to me about Look it here. this morning. Look here. Trace did show me some Brescia bag this morning. So she that's, want that's, one. That's a Brescia bag with Jerome name on it. Mm. Oh, wow. That's yeah. impressive. No, me need one. Baggy, no, me need, me need, me need one. It's old and it's rock solid. So me need what one. No, no, when, no. I, when I started, I didn't have an embroidery machine. I said yes. to Randy, Randy, can I pay you to do the embroidery on the cushion pieces for me and I'll take it back and make up the actual cushion. And for months, probably a year, we were doing that. So mm -hmm. we could afford to buy our own machine because that was like a million dollars. We couldn't afford it then. Yes. And now we have two of those. No, but definitely, I would, I would love for the last segment, just like the last half an hour, like we just did now, to mm -hmm. have someone come on and just say, who we're going to have this week now. And uh, we just do a, a last minute, 30 minute close with sure, someone sure. Uh, closing of the show with someone in Jamaica showcasing themselves. Because as I said before, I, I've seen the stories coming out of Jamaica. I was, listen, I was speaking to a few persons and, and I said to them, if you do not know a person like Achilles or, or some other persons who are positively doing stuff. You think it's all doom and gloom. Exactly. And, peop and, and that was what I was, I was doing some little survey from people in the UK and differently. Mm -hmm. and, and I said, no, no, we've got to change that narrative. Mm -hmm. um, and we, 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 you know, we, we, we... listen, I, I, uns I unscribe, sorry, I, I, this, yesterday I unscribed, unsubscribed from the start. I unsubscribed from the start. I definitely okay, no 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 no. No, we start with Star and Glena, please. No no, I just I'm so No, listen, I, listen. I just and I've deal told with it. people, I say this every chance I get, Silburn, that a lot of the success that we are, and I'm not going to say me because it's not me alone. Yeah. God bless my husband and his family who helps us. But a lot of our success is dependent on the fact that we don't, we don't. I don't watch the news mm. straight up. If I hear the news on the radio or I see it on my news feed, that's it. I don't watch the news. I do not entertain. I do not listen to. I do not scroll past anything that is negative. Mm. Because so much wrong, so much bad things is happening out there. Why would we dwell on that? Mm. It's, only, only, it's only going to pull you in. So yes. I, I, as every chance I get, I filter. Um, I block and delete and I filter. I do not listen to watch. Any of those things. Not, it, people, don't, people even know, don't send certain things to my phone because I'm not going to watch it. 
Yes. And that is yes. one of the reasons why we can be so successful because we don't allow negativity to impact us. Because the mind, the, 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 the mind is the mind is saturated with positive exactly. energy. People are asking us why you open a business in the middle of a pandemic. Come on <laughs> now, if Corona is not going to be here forever, and we, we were almost two, full two years in, we have to live our life. Yeah. But but kill this, kill this. depending on a pandemic. Mm-hmm. Kill this, hold on. I remember Warren Buffett and uh, was doing an interview. For those who don't know who Warren Buffett is, is that maybe the, the third or fourth richest man in the world, the mm-hmm. greatest investor of all time. Mm-hmm. Um, they asked Warren Buffett, where or what is the next big investment or where is the next place that's going to be that's going to blow up? He said Iraq. They're like, what? Mm-hmm. He and his partners have been buying up real estate in Iraq. Crazy. He said, look here. War cannot be forever. Exactly. And when when the war is done, they're going to need hotels, they're mm-hmm. going to need restaurants, they're going to mm-hmm. need and we'll be there. So right now, the real estate in Iraq is very cheap. And then there's a buy up property it in Iraq. Yep, yep, yep. You understand me? And just hold it and sit down and wait until things settle. Exactly. They're going to move in. And, and mm. like, 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 with kids, I know kids and kids are little girl, little, little pitney, right? I mean, our brother them. And it's a whole clanged up. It's a whole don't, 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 don't tell us a secret in a lesson. Don't, don't, don't. No, 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 no. What I'm, but, no, what I'm saying, but Silver, what I'm saying is that we have always supported each other. It's not just since we get big now, yes. we have always supported each other. When we go out and who have care, I will drop, so we'll drop home Kiddis, I will drop home Melissa or whoever. We we'll wait until them go in, we we'll call them, you're good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The support system has always been there. You know, mm-hmm. so when we reach in a position where we can spread the word, where we can send customers, where we can support, where we can do, we we'll always do that. You understand me? And no, nobody not gonna talk negative about kiddies. I make mean, me know. You understand me? <laughs> nobody not gonna talk negative about yes. Tino. I make mean, me know. So the, the support. A lot of the time, people think say we will fight against in our community. There, are, I know more people who support each other. That Than those who are not them. supporting. Mm. That's right. You know, that's, that's, awesome. you know, that's great. You know, the, you know, the interesting thing you said about kids is that people are doing the same thing, but they are not competing against each other, complementing. Mm-hmm. Because in the UK here, you've got lots of Indian. I'm going to use the Indian shops then. Mm-hmm. They're all next to each other. Mm-hmm. Or, or if you go to Chinatown, all the Chinese restaurants are next to each other. And they are living, flourishing. And the Indian yeah. man, they're all next door to but, each other. But so, when it's like here in Jamaica, downtown, yeah. We live on Princess Street, from the top of Princess Street to the bottom of Princess Street, downtown Kingston, yes. are Chinese horses, left and right. Same All business. Of them selling the same. Princess Street is known as the Here Street, for example. Yes. I don't know much about downtown, but yeah. They sell the falls here and the hair and all of that. All of them. The same hair, the same product. So they can get some for Lester? Can same get Some extra hair for Lester? Some falls here for Lester? But Silicon, oh, you got trouble less than here and you don't have no ear neither. <laughs> <laughs> you see how you defend him? You see how you defend him? My, my exactly. papa is exactly. my, my exactly. papa. My papa is from Ochi and and, and oh one my time God. and he said he said to my he said to me, Virgin, you're not safe for a long time, a long, long time in the see you. Come in, mommy, can I get some here for you, man? Come in, come on, come to you. <laughs> Great. Kid, is it is it okay, sir? Oh my god, I'm gonna one cry. <laughs> She says, ever blessed cases, your customers keep coming back because of your personality and selflessness. Like, I'm tearing up, guys. Like, literally. Uh, okay, Silburn, I wish we could have talked. Some, kid, some things that kids do for me. Kids' service has gone beyond just Jesse. <laughs> you know? Kids. Thank kiddies you have, so much, Kay. Kids said kiddies you are going to Jamaican stuff too, right? No, but we, we didn't talk about that. We didn't talk about that. Kiddies have delivered gifts for me. We have not finished with Jesse. You know I don't what I mean? I'm not delivered. I don't do deliveries. Mm. I have a bearer. I, I, from, ever since I've always had a bearer. And I've done deliveries myself for Lester. Yes, I don't do deliveries. None, none of all. As a matter of fact, something happened today again. And she's on the, when she's on left, she'll hear me say it again. This morning, because I was in the store preparing for Jesse's birthday. And I was doing the shirt. And a client called me on the business phone to say if I have any diffusers. No, I don't sell diffusers. In a Samsung TLL who's on the live right now, 
it was the person who rent a space in my store. She set the diffusal. So she gets 100% sales from her sales. I don't take anything from it, right? Mm. And the client calls to say if she wants a diffuser, if I have any. And I'm like, yeah, there's one on the shelf. But I'm not open today. What I can do for you is to get my bearer to pick it up from me and take it to you. Because I'm not going to be here when you come. She says, mm. okay, do that and let me know. And I was about to head out of the store when this happened. And I called her back and said to her, where are you? She said she's in Crossroads. And like I said, everywhere is so central. Crossroads was like two minutes from where the store is. And it said to her, the traffic wasn't even bad. And I said to her, hear what? I'm going to go back in the store, pick up that diffuser for you. I'm going to take it to you right now. Mm. And the girl was so happy because the person's birthday is tomorrow. So if mm. I didn't do that, she wouldn't have gotten it in time for the birthday tomorrow. So things like those still burn. It, it wasn't my money. It's somebody else's business that I'm supporting, that I'm making it happen. I just want to make to get that sale yes, today, yes. even though we were closed. You understand what yes. I'm saying? I could have easily mm. said, trust, and then my product share bag, what am I going to extra my for, whatever, yeah. whatever. I'm not like that. I don't have that bone in me at all. Yeah. But, but know? still so burn, like those, to, show, to show you the type of person Kiddis is, when you see a worker, Kiddis bearer, took her to lunch mm -hmm. right <laughs> that shows that mm -hmm. she is not a boss but she is a leader she he mm -hmm. treated me to a six thousand dollar lobster lunch for my birthday all right, yeah, oh. sure. I'm from the Jamaican food. <laughs> lobster, wow. lobster and shrimp. I don't even want to hear the I'm price. I just want the lobster. <laughs> well, listen, well, listen, listen, kiddies. I want to thank you so much for coming on. And um, no problem. I, 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 I think one of the quotes which I created was, "Don't go with the flow, or you be in someone else's stream. Instead, create your own <laughs> rivers, and you have create your own rivers, which is plural, just like Ochre or some eight rivers. Let's take that." <laughs> <laughs> Look here, a two river what you have. Two. White river and, and Don't River. Eight rivers. Vita, can you just repeat after him? Eight rivers. That's Ocho is eight. Ocho, Ocho Rios. Eight rivers in two Spanish. River, we, know, we, all speak different, we all speak different language. We all speak two rivers. We know, yeah. don't we? So, so, so. But Kenny, so um, that was, that was yeah. amazing. And I really respect yeah. that as a, a Jamaican woman. I love it. And um, definitely I'm going to so place much. my order. And give me this family and friends discount so I could get some sales from for you here. No yes. problem. No problem. And, Make me and, help. And somebody's I was listening to a business call today with one of my business people and the the word was this one. Procrastination is the assassination of your destination. I said that was so powerful. Procrastination yep. is yep. assassination, the assassination of your destiny, your destiny by Brenda Chunga. Just, just get it. up and do it, man. Just get up and do it, man. You know, just do it. You know. So listen, thank you so much, and and we've we'll talked. Can I have, yes. can I have uh, just, just, just the next 30 seconds? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. In, a, in a, the big box where um, Kitty <laughs> sent me, apart from a Jamaican goodies, my I ordered a a, a, a water bottle. Um, we call it, uh, we call it the, the, the tumbler, call it, the tumbler mm -hmm. right? For my, from for my boss, right? My, my boss is always on the go, oh. right? So his name was on it, and the Jamaica flag was on it. He was in the middle of a meeting, a business meeting, and I walked in with it and I handed it to him, and he was so surprised, but he was so elated also, oh. and. <laughs> He said to me that an employee has never given him anything. Oh, wow. Yeah. Much less something personalized from Jamaica. Exactly. Wow. Yes. So, and he loves Jamaica. He's from Suriname, but he yeah. loves Jamaica. I'm going to do I, that I, with my <clears throat> boss and see if I can yeah. get a raise. Kids, I'll talk to you tomorrow to order my stuff. <laughs> sure, I, 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 I tell you, the, the wonderful thing about this is um, people, how the personal touch makes a big difference, you know? Oh, I remember yeah. I remember when I used to work with, uh, when I was studying at law school and there was this restaurant called Pizza Express in the UK. Pizza Express do not advertise, period. Mm -hmm. Everything is word of mouth. Mm -hmm. And the, the, as, as a manager on duty, if a customer is upset by the food, you need to make sure it leaves out happy as much mm -hmm. as possible. Mm -hmm. and, and then we'll always... We'll always sometimes um, stoop to the, us, the customer's um, angle and say, what can we do for you? Yeah. Because, well, I'm, I'm, I'm not like food, blah, blah, blah. I said, 
what can we do for you? I said, I tell you what, I'll let you have all the pizzas on the house free, you know, and um, and even a bottle of wine, you know, wow. but we'll work, out, we'll work out something because if he leaves and goes upset, and spreads that negative news, no, not just that, he writes to the head office, mm -hmm. the head office will send him back to the same restaurant, give him a hundred pound or so voucher, and that voucher comes out of the manager's bonus. Oh, <laughs> nice. so, so smart. You know, so therefore, it's a it's a it's a duty to ensure that they leave out. And I, you know, and I never forget a customer. Um, always when he comes in, he doesn't speak to anybody. Just I just say to him, "Hey, how are you? How are you, Michael?" He say, "Yeah, same place, same." And you know, serving him, and he likes American hot. He likes he likes to sit at a particular place, and the waiters all say, "Oh, Silburn and his friend again," but. For me, it was that customer like to feel special. Yes, yes. You just make them feel that way. Feel special. I mean, and nothing is wrong with making people feel special. There's nothing wrong. As a matter of fact, one of the things I didn't mention earlier was that having a store now allows me to see my customer's reaction to the things that we make. Mm. So, like, for example, a customer ordered, ordered a cushion two Fridays ago. It was a last minute order. And when she called to ask if it was ready, she had ordered in the, in the morning. I wanted to do a pickup same day. And we said, no, it wasn't ready. And she was upset, like, oh, no. But it's the person birthday today. And I forgot I want to give them the gift today. And she was going on. She was devastated. I said to her, where are you coming from? She said, Spanish store. I said, okay. When you get here, it will be ready. Just come. And when she got there, I said, if it, and if it's not ready, you won't have a long wait. Mm -hmm. And when she got there, it was almost finished. But she had to wait a little bit. And she was there waiting. And Silburn, when, she, when the cushion was made and done, and what we handed it to her, she was speechless. She, she, like, she had this shock, like, <gasps> like, so yes. I put 30 seconds in, and we're like, oh my God, something is wrong with the yes. cushion now. We rush it and then we make a mistake. You know what happened? She was so overwhelmed by how it turned out. She loved how it looked. Mm. She didn't know. She didn't, I guess she ordered it, but she didn't expect how it would come out. And yes. she was just in shock and awe. And we were like, but we think it's something that was wrong. She said, no, I love it so much. And yes. she almost cried. When, I, when I'm not there, when we didn't have a store, I couldn't see those things. Mm. So these okay. are some of the things that we get to experience now, yes. having a location. We still have deliveries. The bearer still goes out and do deliveries. Mm. But for things like where person must come in, that's another part of the experience that we were missing out on that it's so good to see people reacting yes. you know live to to what to your work and what you're doing that's also is fulfilling more so than ladies, money yeah. Kiddies, so ladies, please go ahead yeah i have a quick question um i know you do t-shirts and um decor do you do towels if i want to personalize towels for we do embroidered listen any item you can think of it's okay. Oh, you have a towel. You have a towel. You have a Lester has everything that we do, literally everything. Okay. It, it, it's towels, water bottles, um, <laughs> oh, whatever we can think of, we personalize. Let's hope you don't come over to my brief. Let's hope you don't come over to my brief. I know, right? <laughs> underpants. No, we don't do underwear. <laughs> As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, that's one an of my idea. Friends, one of my friends. No, listen to this. One of my friends. Kids, remember this, kids? That's from 2018. That's, wow. that's from 2018. That's a drink. It's a bottle. No, it's, it's, it's a, a bottle. Stainless okay. steel bottle. That's from mm. 2018. That's one of the very first bottles that we did. Uh, oh my God. Wow. Awesome. We still have it, man. And we still use it, too. Wow. So, um, she was getting married. And for her bridal shower, her friend wants to give her an underwear that was personalized. And she bought the underwear and she said to me, and I did it. You hear so that, Lester? Here I am saying we don't do underwears. We do. Lester, you hear that? You can send me some kiddies. underwear. Kiddies. Kiddies. <laughs> but talk to you after your kiddies. Because I want some, some G-string. All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> Even though no children is watching, so we just we just um. Uh, oh, Cheers. That's fine. That's fine. Cheers. Oh, I was like, bye, guys. Open my drink yet, but... Oh, you didn't yeah. open the drink. I okay. Didn't open it yet. What are, what are you drinking, still? You got to tell us what you're drinking. 
Oh, my days. Wow, that's awesome. What's that? Okay, I read it properly. It does. But, 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 uh, uh, read, say it. Uh, Bottega. Bottega, okay. Got the words come up on it. I, I'm right. trying to, to mirror it, but it's not working. Okay. Well, but yeah, to... um, thank you for having me, guys. No problem. And say bye. I, I, can... I came in just in time. Yes. <laughs> Where's your room there? Where's your room there? He's talking to one of his friends. Yeah. So, so, I so, so guess... okay, I'll pick up your room. Yeah. Jerome, <laughs> you're being requested, sir. <laughs> But that's why I'm big up Jerome. So that's just 30 seconds. He always want me to be the spokesperson and everything while he's still behind uh, the scenes. Uh, the Lester I want to talk to you. Greetings. My boss. Jerome, my boss. My boss. It's since. How do have me how you're average? How do have me how you're average? Yeah. Oh, my days. He's in orange. I just realized this is in orange. Jerome. Huh? Jerome, may I show Kitty so we still have this from, from 2018. And you see, it, it lasts eh? two <laughs> years. <laughs> exactly. Quality, man. Quality. But Jerome, listen, thank you so much for allowing Kitty to come on and yell up Jesse the boss as well. Will do, will do, will do. And, and keep and up I... the, the greatness. You know, every night Kitty's here listening, or not every night, but whenever you guys are on. You know, yes, you always yeah. jump on and, 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 and I listen as well and enjoy it, you know. And I think that's no all you, you did some Chevron and some Chevron and some meeting recently. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we 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 were invited to a dinner yes. um, with the new commissioner. So, oh, that's... you know, trying to maintain that network as well because that's, yes. that's development. Exactly, exactly. That's my exactly. area, you know. Awesome, yeah. awesome, awesome. Well, no, no blessings in a Jerome. Yes, no blessings that you know. Um, Jerome yes. is not the, is, is not the upfront person, yes. you know, but um, he's there. He's the engine mm. behind the whole thing. The um, a lot of people you know? don't understand that Jerome yes. do a lot of the heavy lifting. You know, mm. so kid is it's just a pretty face. Yes. yes. <laughs> oh, that's, <laughs> so smart. that's a very smart man. Very smart, <laughs> as though it should be, as though it should be. Yeah, but, yeah, but, but, but the truth but, is that it's the teamwork, you know. Teamwork, yes, 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 yes. yes. definitely, definitely, definitely. But well, anyway, anyway, fourteen lady must grave road, ladies and gentlemen. Fourteen lady must grave road for the yes, yes, because yeah. make sure you guys go there. Okay. And the telephone number, um, what's the telephone number again, Jesse? Three eight um, one five eight five eight two three. So, so that's yeah. three or eight, Instagram. Three, um, wait, 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 wait. Three eight one. Yes, so eight seven yeah. six three eight one eight seven five, six. Oh, sorry, no, no. Eight three, seven eight, six one. three eight one. Is that the last one? Three eight okay, one. Three eight one five eight two three. Five eight two three. Yeah, okay. I'm putting it in the chat yeah. right now. Yes, yes, I just did it as well. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. And okay, then Instagram okay. at Jesses. Instagram. Yes, at Jesses. Yes, yes. Yeah. All right, well, listen, guys, we'll wrap up now. Late. Bed night for us now in the UK after 12. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And of course, I look forward to getting um, for Kiddies is going to recommend first to, to finish out the show um, when we do future shows on Saturdays as well. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, Blessings. guys. Bless it. Right. Jerome, pick up yourself. Bye. Bye. Every time. Bye. Every time. Bye bye, guys. Yeah. Thank you. Kiddies, no respect. Yeah. Oh, Vita, Vita went. Okay. Well, let's. <laughs> Vita cut. She, she got that. Yeah. Well, listen, listen, I'm over time now. So, listen, Virgin. Yeah. It was a good show and um, very entertaining. Very, um, I wouldn't say entertaining. Informative. 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 So I'm well, and entertaining. Entertain. Uh, information entertain. don't. No, but entertaining can be informative, too. Yes, yes. That is that is very correct as well. You know? Yeah. So, so we talk about um, things and, um, you know, you take care of a yeah. good Sunday as well. Uh, well, it's Sunday. Definitely. Is it, what, is it, what time is it now in Netherlands, is it? It's one fourteen now. Did your time change recently as well? First of November, yes. First of November, okay. That's why we're yeah. you and I are back at one hour ahead. You are one hour. Yeah, ahead. So. and and tomorrow I'll be hosting the JLP conference waterfall division. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Yeah, well, virtual uh, virtual conference. Well, we'll have some fun. Here. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you can wear this. You can wear the same outfit, of course. You know. Uh, no, yeah. sir. I, I have a multiplicity <laughs> of greed. <laughs> All right. Listen, sir. Listen. All right. Listen, 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 sir. Listen, sir. Yeah.
Okay, well, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you so much for, for joining tonight. And I'm going to wrap up now. It's been a very, what should I say, informative, um, entertaining, as, as Lester said, or with edutainment, talking about, um, you know, positive stuff, talking about things which are empowering. I always believe that in everybody there's something which is empowering, educational, um, motivational, and inspiring. We don't dismiss the realities of life or some of the negative things which are happening in life. But at the same time, I believe that the negatives, you know, sell very easily. But for the positive and the inspirational stuff, sometimes that takes a while. You know what I mean? Let me just try to get this thing here back. Sometimes that takes a while to really sell. If I can get this. Sometimes to really sell. And, and I really believe that we need to spend more time on those positive things, you know. And I look forward to Kitty's recommending some persons to come on the show on Saturday nights for the last 30 minutes to talk about their business and just get to really showcase persons to the world as much as possible. We give thanks to the, the new Lieutenant Governor in the States that says, um, inspire and motivating fire, which is good. Um, and yeah, so that's it. See you around. Have a good night. Peace out. God bless you for all the persons who came on. Jody, thank you so much. Um, Spartacus, <laughs> you take care. Um, and everybody else, okay? Peace out and have a good night. And as we're listening and as we close off with some nice music from South Africa, from Tato Cash. Boom.